Good evening, everyone. It's Thursday, six o'clock. That means it's Talking Turkey with me, Brand Ambassador Jeanette for the JD Farms Gourmet Turkey Company. I am so excited tonight because I love meals that I can prep ahead and then in the morning when I know I'm going to have a busy day, throw it in the crock pot and it's going to be delicious and it's going to be slow cooking and it's going to develop big flavors. But when you are using a crock pot, you have to do a bit of prep ahead of time in order to get the big flavors out of it. So tonight's recipe, and it, when anybody tunes on, and I hope some people will uh, definitely tune on, um, if you can let me know that you can hear me. Um, last week, um, I had a difficulty with my, um, my sound. I tried to get the sound to come on, and I'm really grateful that about 200 of you watch the video without any sound. So I must be entertaining and the instructions I give, you can follow along. So if somebody in the comments can please let me know or throw a thumbs up that you can hear me, um, I would be greatly appreciated. And if you can't hear me, then I'm gonna sign off and hopefully um, figure it out. But without further ado, let's get started. So tonight's recipe is um, basically layered into the crock pot. You want to make sure you're developing the flavors ahead of time. So I'm using, um, this is a turkey thigh. I love a turkey thigh in a crock pot. It's just got the, the right amount of the right fats that are in there and the flavor is just good. And it's also got the bone in it. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper. I've got some, um, some pepper on here. Going to use what's available at JD Farms, this Matto seasoning, which has like Himalayan salt and cranberry and turmeric and, oh my gosh, really good spot, orange peel in here and oregano on the turkey. A little bit of the JD Farms Greek seasoning and um, some of the JD Farms hot sauce. So, well, and then I've got some other ingredients that I'm going to be showing you, but let's get the turkey breast browning, first of all. So again, if everybody, if anybody out there can let me know that you can hear me, I would greatly appreciate it in the comments. Just say, hey, I can hear you fine and dandy. So I'm putting about a tablespoon of a neutral oil into my skillet. Going to take some of that seasoning and just go over the top and take some pepper, oops, applying seasoning here. Take some pepper, grind it on top as well. Watching my heat of my pan a little bit. I'm actually gonna save my, uh, my Greek seasoning for a second because I don't want it to burn. But I want to kind of give this a good little pat, getting all those seasonings all over my turkey thigh. A lot of meat. This is going to serve about four people in my little crock pot. Okay. Oh, hearing you. Yay! I don't know what happened last week, guys. Okay, I'm going to get this in because I want to brown up the turkey thigh before I put it in. Let's get all those little great spices. Be right back. I've got a turkey hand. Watch my thigh for me, please. So you get the gist of what we're doing here. I'm gonna wait for a bit. I really want that skin to get some flavor and then I'm gonna turn this over. So I'm gonna pull this back away. And let's get the crock pot set up. This, I have a little six, um, six uh, I think it's six cup or eight cup. No, I think this is an eight cup crock pot. Fits into my little crock pot because I'm a, you know, a single girl. So this is what I have. So what I wanna do first of all, is I've got a beautiful uh, brown, red, and black rice um, mix. Cut that open. I'm going to take a cup of the mix. You could use, you want to use a, um, um, a longer grain rice, like a, a jasmine rice would be good. Uh, a basmati is, I think, too, too, um, too fine. It'll cook too quickly. Um, so you want to use like a good brown rice or a, um, like a, like a good heartier rice. Okay. 
Now, from Nature, or from Cranberries Natural, I love their salsa. It's got the cranberries, it's got the spices that you kind of make with turkey. So I'm going to put in here, oh, a good three tablespoons. Okay, going in there. Put it. I like it hot, so let's. And it's about a teaspoon of hot sauce. So you think we've got the, the sweet cranberries, the little bit of the veg that's in there, and the cranberries uh, with the cranberry salsa, and the heat. And you need a little bit of acid. So believe it or not, yeah, you do. So I'm putting about a quarter of a cup of an apple cider vinegar. It also helps to break down the turkey meat and kind of tenderize it as it's being cooked. So just gonna give this a little stir around. Always kind of keeping an eye on my turkey breast here. Okay, and in here, two cups of water. Pretty standard rice recipe, two to one. And remember, my turkey, while it's cooking, is gonna give off some juices as well. So I'm just mixing that in. And now I'm gonna set that aside. Oh, I forgot a secret ingredient. You want kind of that big roasty flavor. So if you had coconut aminos, at home or if you had like um this is worcestershire it just kind of gives that beefy roasty taste it's about a teaspoon of that okay let's set that aside i'll bring back my turkey and what did i do with my tongs i brought tongs over i'm going to turn this over and that's what i'm looking for guys that color because that color is going to bring flavor. When you're slow roasting, um, you don't have, if you if I didn't do this, the meat would be very, um, I wouldn't say rubbery, because that's like a bad terminology for JD Farms, but it just wouldn't develop like a big flavor. Um, this here, what this is called is the Maillard effect in cooking terminology and culinary terminology. It's when the natural sugars are caramelizing in the fats and that's flavor that's really good flavor so while i'm waiting for this I'm just going to turn this up just a bit because i want a little bit more of the color on there and i didn't get a plate so i need to take that that turkey out and then i've got this is uh whoops get out of the pan there a half a pound of sliced white button mushrooms that once this turkey comes out and I kind of set it aside I'm going to pick up the flavor so they really want to go in there right now what the heck did I do with my oh, oh my gosh oh I found them How's everybody doing tonight? We'd like to wish our American followers a very happy Thanksgiving. Getting some nice little color on there. But you get the gist. We want to get some color on it. And now I'm going to add the mushrooms in. And I want to saute them around too because if I put these in right into the crock pot without having a little bit of wilting, the, the flavors just wouldn't get there. And I've got a lot of beautiful flavors in the bottom of this pan. I'm just going to take a little bit of water. To get all those little those little brown bits that hopefully you can see there. Let's give this a little bit of pepper because you always want to season as you go. Let's do a little bit more of this matto seasoning. Fingers aren't working tonight. a little bit more water I really want to get those little bits off there there's so much flavor and in culinary terms the little brown bits that happen are called the font that's f-o-n-d and I don't know that kind of it's probably a French term for flavor 
I'm going to get all that in there. I'm going to turn up my heat just a bit to kind of go a little bit quicker. See how they're getting just slightly wilted? And they're picking up some amazing flavors. Okay, I am happy with that. Okay, I'm going to bring back my crock pot. Put that over there. In the crock pot, it's going to go. And these mushrooms as they're cooking as well are going to release a lot of water. So you probably thought some of your um, hardier grains say almost like a, a three cups of water to one cup of rice. No, when you're using the crock pot because there's so much steam and liquid, you don't need to do that. Okay, so let's just unplug that. Be right back. So we've got the crock pot ready and we're about, oh, I would say if we take a look at my finger, we're about an inch from the top. We want to take that turkey, beautiful JD Farms turkey thigh. We want to nestle it right in there. Okay. And you always want to make sure, if I was going to put this on tonight to cook, um, you want to make sure always when you have a crock pot that you really clean your edges because you don't want any heat to escape. And you put the lid on, I would put that on. And on my crock pot, because it's so basic, I have off, low, high, and warm. I would put this on low and I have an escaping mushroom. And this is gonna take, guys, a good eight to 10 hours. So at this point, what I will be doing is putting a piece of um, plastic wrap on the top of this, putting this on, and then putting it in the fridge. So even think about the flavors that are in there now that's gonna go into that water with the mushrooms. It's just gonna develop even more flavor, and it's gonna be prepped for me for tomorrow night. Uh, or for tomorrow morning when I put this on. So I'll get up in the morning. I will put this on probably at 7 o'clock. Um, take a look at it at about 5 o'clock. I just want it to go really, really slow. Slow and low and release all those flavors. You'll know it's ready when all this liquid and the rice is kind of plumped up. I will take this the turkey, um, the turkey thigh out, pull the meat off it, serve it with the rice, turkey and maybe a nice little green vegetable on the side or a nice little side salad on the side. So there you go. Meal prepped. Delicious JD Farms. Good nutrition. Super easy. Um, and I won't have to worry about dinner tomorrow night because I made it tonight. So if you have any questions after you have watched this particular video, please throw it into the comments. Um, I'm so um, happy to answer any questions, recipe, um, ingredient wise or measurement wise, as well as answering any questions about the JD Farms products. Hey, Christmas is coming up. Uh, soon we will be uh, announcing um, like our fresh birds and times to pick up. We will be running it the same way we did last year where you'll have a time to pick up. Um, you'll go into the store, pick your bird up and kind of go. We want it to, um, oh, thank you, Darlene. Um, it is, and it smells amazing in my kitchen right now. We want to keep everybody safe. We want to keep everybody calm. And of course, we want to be uh, very kind to each other this time of year. So once again, from my home to your home, to our American people, our American followers, happy Thanksgiving. We hope you gobbled up the day with your family and friends and safety. And to our Canadian and our rest of the world, people that are watching us tonight, um, enjoy your night. And thank you for tuning along with us. Um, we're so grateful for all your support, um, always and forever. Okay, talk to you later, guys. I'll put a picture up tomorrow night on what this looks like uh, coming out of the crock pot.